Hi friends, my name is Kalpesh and today I am gonna explain you how Drysum notification system works. It is utilized in most of the racing and high-handed cars. So stay tuned and keep watching till the end. I promise you guys you will get the answer why such kind of lubrication system is utilized in a specific segment of the racing cars. So keep watching and stay tuned. Hello friends, before we go ahead, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel and if you have already subscribed, click on the bell button next to the subscribe icon so you can enjoy all the stuffs in future without fail. So as I promise you, today you will have answer why such kind of lubrication system is utilized in a specific segment of the racing cars. So let's get started. This is the schematic diagram of the uh, dry sump lubrication system. Uh, first I would like to introduce the components, uh, construction details of the system. Then we will discuss about the working. So here is the engine crankcase. You can con consider this is the bottom portion of the engine. And as I said, uh, we are discussing about the dry sump. So the crankcase is completely in the empty position. So that's why here it is mentioned it is a dry sump. Uh, then uh, here is the strainer which restrict the foreign particles uh, to enter into the system. Uh, here is the scavenging pump. The capacity of scavenging pump it is slightly higher than the oil pump. I already discussed about the oil pump in my previous video of the uh, splash lubrication system and the pressure field lubrication system. The link for the same has been provided into the description so you can click on that and you can enjoy my previous videos too. The next component you can find the filter again this filter it restricts the foreign particles and here is the filter bypass pressure relief valve so it's a pressure relief valve simple and this is the supply tank you can consider as a reservoir you can consider as a reservoir this is uh, here vent is provided to maintain the uh, pressure inside the reservoir here is the oil pump again the pressure relief valve is there and oil cooler is provided and this is the uh, outlet of this dry sump uh, type lubrication system uh, lubricating oil it goes out and lubricates the uh, engine components like you can consider the bearings uh, cylinder wall etc so uh, let's discuss the working of the uh, whole system as i said this is the uh, engine crankcase and it remains empty throughout the process lubricating oil that we are uh, sub providing we are supplying to the engine it will be stored here in the supply tank you can call it the reservoir too you can call it the reservoir too this reservoir has certain amount of oil inside it and with the help of this oil pump it continuously supplies the oil to lubricate the different parts of the engine now once the engine bearing and different uh, components like uh, crankcase bearing, journal bearing, cylinder wall etc. they get lubricated that oil droplets it comes down into the crankcase and the scavenging pump with the help of scavenging pump this oil is drawn from the uh, engine crankcase to the next level so with the help of this scavenging pump we are trying to draw the uh, oil droplets or the lubricating oil from the dry, uh, from the cr engine crankcase and that's why this engine crankcase it will remains empty throughout the process that's why this kind of a system it is known as a dry sump lubrication system now as I said, the scavenging pump has a capacity uh, higher than the oil pump as it has to uh, draw the fuel from the engine crankcase. 
uh, here the filter is provided uh, and this bi this bypass line is provided so in case the filter gets chalk and the pressure due to the scavenging pump it will rise uh, or it will exceed the certain limit this pressure relief valve opens and this few uh, this lubricating oil from this bypass channel it will con uh, continue its flow so it permits the flow of lubricating oil from the bypass channel once this lub uh, used lubricating oil it reaches to the supply tank again with the help of oil pump uh, this lubricating oil it will be supplied to the different parts of the engine to uh, to achieve the lubrication even more uh, pressure relief valve is provided this is the pressure relief valve this pressure relief valve uh, it 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 is being operated when the pressure after this oil pump it exceeds the limits exceeds its limits prescribed by the manufacturer so uh, when this oil pump it supplies the oil and uh, this oil exceeds uh, this oil pressure it exceeds the limit higher than the prescribed uh, by the manufacturer this pressure relief valve it gets open and the oil it starts flowing through this bypass channel to the reverse direction so the pressure at this point it gets released and it maintains uh, it thereby uh, the pressure is maintained with the help of the pressure relief valve here the last component it is provided the oil cooler sometimes uh, as a coolant uh, different manufacturer utilize different uh, cooling media sometimes the liquid water is utilized and sometimes the uh, air cooler is utilized it depends on the manufacturer but uh, due to this pressure uh, built up with the help of this oil pump obviously the temperature of this oil rises and we need to cool uh, down this oil before it enters to the uh, different parts because higher at higher temperature the lubricate uh, viscosity of this lubricating oil it will be less and we are getting the uh, less lubricating less lubrication inside the parts so this is the main reason why we require the oil cooler here so with different media with different mechanism sometimes uh, cooling water sometimes uh, air cooler uh, it depends on the manufacturer so this oil cooler it uh, lowers the temperature of the oil then th this pressurize low temperature lubricating oil it enters to the different part of the uh, engine to lubricate the variety various parts so this is the way the whole dry sump lubrication system works the advantages the first advantage it is the most important advantage and uh, as i said i promise you guys that you will get the answer why such kind of lubrication system is utilized in the formula or the racing segments in case of a formula one cars if we are considering the cornering and if such uh, engine is equipped with the wet lubrication system that means the lubricating oil is stored into the crankcase then uh, if we are considering the cornering three times of g force is produced uh, which is acting as a centrifugal force on the engine and with the help of such huge force the whole uh, lubricating oil is uh, moved towards the one side of the crankcase for the fraction of seconds engine it will not able to deliver the lubricating lubrication oil to the different parts that situation it is called the oil starvation and it is completely undesirable while we are comparing with the performance of the cars and this scenario it is completely undesirable uh, in the cars which is utilized for the racing segment oil starvation while cornering in the formula 1 cars or the racing segment car that can be overcome with the help of the dry sump lubrication system it lowers the uh, center of gravity of the engine as the engine crank uh, engine crankcase it is completely empty so the center of gravity uh, it will be lower as compared to the uh, wet type uh, lubrication system 
and obviously uh, it reduces the weight of the engine okay there is no uh, lubricating oil in the crankcase so it reduces the overall weight of the engine so these are the main advantages listed here uh, if you have any queries related to this you can write in the comment section below thank you thank you so much thank you for watching this video with the attention don't forget to subscribe this channel and click on the bell button so you will not miss any stuff in the future thank you thank you guys